Hello YouTube, my plan for today was to go over input in Visual Basic, but I realized in my last video I vaguely went over integers, um, not actually vaguely for such a long video it was, but <clears throat> not as descriptively as I wanted to, so just try to catch up with me, <clears throat> try to briefly discuss this a little more make a new project um no not even his form application make sure you click console application and my friend just logged in so this is going to be a little difficult um okay let's just name it youtube it's so cliche but just go with me please well that's weird it's just code for my last oh no it doesn't oh sorry sorry just getting distracted by visual basics very very sexy interface Alright. So, module one. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so, I told you guys do dim x as integer. But I didn't explain what this all did, really. I mean, I kind of did, but I don't think I went over dim enough. Dim is basically declaring or telling Visual Basic, hey, look, x is a is a variable and this next line as integer it just means after you put dim x it's gonna wanna know what x is I mean you can get away with this but for just for general reasons sorry <laughs> as integer it's gonna t you're gonna tell it tell wow spelling failure you wanna tell visual basic what kind of variable it's gonna be so we're dim declaring x as an integer variable. Alright, and you can make it equal whatever five. And I told you guys dim answer whatever. You know that's a little more work than you would have to do. You could just do um console dot write and have the x plus five and you see that's x and that's five. So it should oh wait, sorry. Actually, haven't used Visual Basics console in a while. I've been working on a project, which is why I haven't made a video. And okay, here ten, and it worked. So there, I shortened up the code a little. Now we're gonna go over input. Um, so hang on to your horses because of the pause real quick. Okay, I apologize about that. You for you it was just like a split second. For for me, it took a couple minutes. Just rewind it and then play that part right there and you'll see the time change drastically. Okay, it wasn't that drastic, but drastic sounds like Jurassic Park. Alright, I'm sorry, off topic. Alright, we we want to do this. We I don't I don't know where to start, but let's just go with this. We wanna make input so told you about console dot read line. We can throw that in there and that's all. So we have a blank thing, but you can do stuff with this actually. You can type, I don't know, lick this, okay, one, two, three, whatever you want. Alright, um, and then enter and it goes away. Isn't it magical? But, let's say you want to dim A as integer. So now that A is an integer, and one, I'm gonna tend something real quick. If you, that won't work. You can't put that there. So how are we gonna have A store this, whatever you type? Well, first I'm gonna put another read line statement because it will tend to want to run away. That made no sense, but okay. You're gonna want to put A equals console.readline so whatever line is read is gonna be stored into a so whenever you're doing like what are this equals that um, this right here on the right side is that the data on the right side is gonna be transferred to the left side so to speak so if you do this right now we can type in one two three and that just got stored in variable a but we can't see that because there's no nothing telling us but if we try to type in a string it it will still go 
but it's an integer, so exactly error. We got an error. The reason it didn't come up as first is because I don't know. But all right. So how do we know that this is actually working? So let's write console dot write line. We're gonna write out a. So we're gonna type in something like six thousand and five hundred forty three. Wow, how ironic. It was 6543 going backwards from the number 6. That was very, like, not... Okay, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But look, I pressed enter, and there it is again. And the reason is, it's because... A is equaling whatever is console.reline, and then, we, then it writes out A. So what we typed in was 6543, and then it stored it in there. And we press enter, it stayed there, but then after that, it wrote it on the next line as well. So we just demonstrated input and output and the integer variable. So, again, well, you could do the same thing again too. We'll go over this more in the next tutorial. But if you write out a plus 5, that's going to equal whatever you type plus 5. So let's say we type 95. There's 100. And, yeah. We'll go over more of those math things next tutorial. So, thank you for watching. And